Hello everybody, we want to make a video uh, to help other people in relationships. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, the thing about relationships is that every relationship, you're going to have arguments, you know, verbal fights, you know. And, uh, you know, it's not about what arguments you go through or what you guys go through together. It's about... Uh, how you guys get through it, you know, and what you and reconcile, resolve, yeah, reconcile, resolve, problem solve, yeah, figure out better ways of communication to avoid those kind of arguments again, yeah. So, you know, um, you know, our last live stream already, you know, took it down, but. It was muted a lot of the time, but at the end of it, I was, you know, trying to say, oh, she wants DoorDash, and she said she needs dark meat, but there's other there's other dark meat here. I don't know what she's talking about. Some might say getting high beef. <laughs> and, you know... So was I. And, and that was something that she, uh, she re really didn't want me to do, was to talk about problems we're going through in our relationship. Uh, airing dirty laundry is the term used. Yeah, airing dirty laundry is what she said, you know. So, you know, I said, well, maybe we can make a video because we, we, we talked through it and we got through it and we, we, we grew stronger. We, we, we figured out a better way to communicate certain things. This is true. And we both understood where we were coming from. And, you know, we made up and everything, so we thought maybe, I thought at first, I told her, I think if we make a video about it, you know, <clears throat> it'll not only not be awkward anymore, like, people can understand, you know, how we worked through this and what was really going on, but also it might help other people and who have relationships, you know, so. Uh, the first thing was, you know, she said, she said, oh, you know, I, that I was feeling like or making it seem like she was a spoiled brat, you know, or something. And I told her. I felt like I felt like a spoiled brat because I really needed red meat as fast as possible. And, you know, for me, I didn't know we were out of ground beef. And she said dark meat at first. So I'm thinking like, and somebody in the chat even said, you know, just cook some chicken legs. Because dark, when, when you say dark meat. Which I forgot. Because yeah. I was barely thinking as it was. Yeah, and so the thing was, you know, I had just not woken up not too long ago. I only had 3 or $4 besides what's in my savings. I only had 3 or $4 in my checking account because we're saving up for a car. Mm -hmm. We're still working on getting her instruments, you know. Yeah, that's all just in the paperwork at this point. Yeah, so... You know, I, I told her just let me go on live and, and ask for the money for it. And she she didn't want me to do that because you know she, she could feel her blood sugar dropping. But I'm not sure if it was blood sugar, but I could feel myself losing energy and getting shaky, and I knew I needed red meat. And and and, and so that's the thing. After we were talking about it, after I ended the live stream and we were talking and everything, she says, "Oh well, my therapist told me, uh, you know." If you craving a certain thing, you know, a lot of times it's because you, your body needs that certain thing it's trying to tell you. And I told her, And there yeah. might be specific minerals in that specific food or yeah. something you need. And so I told her, actually, I, I know this thing. <laughs> I've known about this for years. And it's just, you know, I'm, I've programmed my, my brain to whenever I'm craving something like that you know, to evaluate the situation and see if, see what I can identify that's in that thing that I'm craving that, that I need and see if I have it in any other food around me or a any other way, right? But, you know, I told her that there's factors in this situation that I didn't consider, you know, that are different from my own personal situation and my own personal relationship with my diet and any cravings I have. Um, You know, and the thing is, she told me also, what would you say about... Well, 
I would love to do some problem solving in those moments when I'm losing energy quickly and starting to shake and my brain is starting to shut down, but my brain is not working cognitively, so I don't have time to go through a whole process of problem solving. I need to just figure out almost survivally, survival mode-ish, how to get that into my body as soon as possible. I shouldn't have let myself get that weak in the first place. I didn't realize we were out of red meat either, so that was also on me, and next time I go shopping, I'm going to make sure I get more red meat and less chicken. And Future problem solved. <laughs> and she told me that that would have been the fastest, quickest way to um, do that in in the moment is just to order and besides going to the store because I was thinking about there there is a, a small you know store that's not like a big grocery store but it has a few grocery items that's like 10 or 15 minutes walking away from the house you know we don't live in town we live in the country out of town it's it's two hours walking to get the to town and to go to the big grocery store that has all the organic stuff she needs and all the stuff that she really needs for her diet. But there is a small little store that has a few grocery items, not a lot. And it's usually some really not good stuff. You know, they don't have any organic stuff or any fresh vegetables or fruits or anything like that. Or organic meat or no organic milk or anything like that. And that's grass the stuff she meat. needs. <laughs> or grass fed meat because, you know, with her epilepsy, it's really important, like I've told you guys before, to make sure she has the things she needs for her diet. And that's, you know, I wasn't being, taking that as seriously this morning, you know. And uh, the thing is, that's why I told her, you know, I told her when we had this conversation earlier and she mentioned that. And I said, that's why I wasn't thinking you were a spoiled brat or anything like that. You know, I was just thinking maybe your brain was, you know, because with her epilepsy, it can mess with her brain. It can make it harder for her to think. I was like, I just thought maybe you weren't thinking it through full enough. And maybe you didn't understand that we had something else here you could eat, you know. But, um, you know, and she's, you know, that's what she said, you know. Um, it's hard for her to think in those moments. And that would have been the fastest way. And I see that, you know. And, you know, the the thing is. You know, we we had money that we have saved up for a car, almost four hundred dollars, and money that we have put aside to get her instruments. But you know, like I said, there are a, for her friend's house in California. We have to get them to see how much it is. Go go to the store. I mean, we checked online, but they have to mm -hmm. see, see how much for the materials and everything, and how they're gonna ship it. And so we have to we have to wait till they're ready to do that to send them the money. So like we, I said all in the paperwork at this point. <laughs> yeah. So we 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 do have some money in the savings, and I just didn't want to take that money out of the savings, which you know, because I thought there would would be a better solution. Like I was even saying, I'll go to the store ten or fifteen minutes walking away. I'll walk there because I I think they have some ground beef there or something. But she didn't want me to leave. Because at that point, she could feel her body not having this nutrient she needs, and she could have had a seizure, you know. A lot of, and, and I just want people to understand that even though, you know, I was complaining about it in the moment on my live stream, it was, I, I was not being uh, sensitive enough to her needs. And, and I was being completely rational, I'll be honest there. Well, in my words and everything. So I did feel like a spoiled brat, but I am grateful that I ended up getting what I needed and we learned a new form of communication um, yeah. between us that will help us in the future to resolve this quicker and without without so much um, confrontation or, uh, what's that word, dissonance. <laughs> yeah, and so in the end she was right. So was uh, it, it would have been the quickest, fastest thing would be to just order that big roast beef sandwich off of DoorDash to get her to Arby's and the safest way without me having to leave to go walk for 30 minutes, you know, and be back 30 minutes later. She could have a seizure in the meantime. So, you know, I, you know, that's when 
and that's just last thing I want to say before I talk about the communication we came up with is that you know um, you know w when you make a decision to make a commitment you know there's a lot of people who have different things in their life you know most commonly people have mental disorders I'm bipolar you know I wasn't diagnosed bipolar but my father was and they diagnosed me with a mood disorder when I was a kid they didn't say specifically bipolar yet but then I stopped going getting treatment because the medicines really scared me you know and gave me really bad side effects so I do believe I have bipolar and, and I try to keep that in awareness she has epilepsy which is not just it's not just mental it's physical you know I, I've had to be there through her having seizures multiple times and she has grand mal seizures not the small seizures that you're still conscious for she can go okay okay I'm sorry no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we're almost, we're almost done. Uh, la, la, I'll just wrap it up. Um, you know, so when you make a commitment to a partner, you know, you have to take into consider, consideration things in their life. And when you make a commitment to someone who has something that serious as epilepsy that has to do with their hormones and their diet, you know, you have to take it seriously when they need something, you know, and not be stubborn about going into the savings, you know, but also, or arguing about it. I can't sit here and try to take advantage of that because if I always said it was that dire of a need, then when it actually was, it could come back and haunt me. So I don't like using that as any kind of excuse. It's literally only when I absolutely need something um, that I ever want to do that because with that kind of communication and power to be able to communicate through what we figured out with power comes responsibility so I will not be taking advantage <laughs> in uh, that sense because uh, it will come back uh, and bite uh, me in the ass and I'm pretty sure you weren't today and you I never wasn't. have whenever she tells me that she really needs something she needs it and she doesn't do this every day or or, or you uses that just as just a way to get something she wants she, she really means it and it's really serious when she says that and if you have a partner you know uh, it's important to take them seriously with the, with needs like that but the method of communication is the cell and I ball out here I'll get it